Kansas City Chiefs on the road Sunday, taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Chiefs looking for their 10th win of the season, and Patrick Mahomes trying to even up his win-loss record against Brady. We will start with the first touchdown of the game. The Chiefs settle for a field goal on their first drive. The Chiefs with the ball. Mahomes gets the snap and finds Tyreek Hill down the field. Touchdown, Kansas City. Staying in the first quarter, Chiefs back with the ball. It's Mahomes to guess who? The Cheetah. He catches it inside the red zone, cuts back, and does a backflip over the goal line for a touchdown. To the second quarter, Tom Brady and the Bucks needing an answer. Brady hits running back Ronald Jones Jr. down the sideline. He hurdles over Dan Sorensen and walks in for the score. To the second half, third quarter, Chiefs with the ball. Mahomes throws a laser to Hill. Touchdown, Chiefs. That's three touchdowns for Hill. To the fourth, the Chiefs are up 17. And here comes Tom Brady. He finds Mike Evans down the sideline who beats the Chiefs secondary on fourth and three. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Bucks keep climbing back. Here they are with the ball inside the goal line with 4-10 left in the game. It's Brady to Evans for a touchdown, and the game is within three. But Mahomes and the Chiefs played the clock well under two minutes, and the Chiefs need to convert on third and seven, and they do so by throwing it to Tyree Kill, which would seal the game. The Chiefs win a tight one on the road, winning 27-24 and are 10-1 on the year. Mahomes is now 2-2 two two against Brady, and here are the Chiefs after the win. I was proud of our guys for stepping up in particular after an emotional game like uh, the Raider game. Uh, you got to be able to do these things. And I thought that was a step forward by our guys. I mean, I can go through and critique it, but, uh, but we, you know, there's some, obviously there's some things we can get better at, but um, it was a heck of, of, of a performance, I thought, by, by our guys. Each and every week, I try to set the mindset of hard for this team and, you know, giving my all, you know, because, I mean, that's just the way my mom raised me. You know, so I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm hurt, if I'm, if I'm gimpy, limpy, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go out and, and you know, try to get the trust of, of the QB, you know. So it may be a few plays I may feel sorry for myself, but best to believe, you know, I'm going to come back right back to the next play and give Pat 110. And he knows that, you know, so I'm going to continue to do that and I'm going to continue to like push the other guys to do it, you know, because they do it too. You know, it's not only me, it's McCole, it's Sammy, it's D-Rob, it's Kelsey. You know, those guys are also working hard in practice too. This week, uh, especially at the beginning of the game, they were playing, they kind of came up and played, played tighter and played up close. And uh, we were able to hit some shots downfield. And uh, that's just the maturity of, of this offense uh, as a whole of knowing how to run their routes based off the coverages that they're that they're getting. And, and then I'll try to get them the ball and let them make plays. And it's nice to see the Chiefs taking care of business on the road. And for their next game, the Chiefs are back home and are playing within the division, hosting the Denver Broncos, who might just be happy to have a quarterback be under center. That's Look at Sports. We'll be right back.